Morning guys, so today what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to start restoring the potato ridge that we've just bought. Let me uh, show you guys around it. So we had one before, we decided to get rid of it. It was uh, one that we'd cut off of the uh, potato planter. Um, video on that may still show, it might not. Um, so as you can see from this one, I mean it's all good, it's just got the usual surface rust. Still got the ends on. And it's even got the levelling bar on the back, which our last one didn't have this levelling bar for the, the uh, cut off from the planter. But the best bit about this ridger is, let me show you around here guys, let me show you. It's still got the plate on it, the manufacturing plate. Now actually I'm at the wrong angle. So it is a Fergie one. As you'll see there it says uh, Ferguson on it. So what we're going to do is, first off I'm going to use our uh, electric wire brush attachment and we're going to clean up as best as we can. So I've got a brush, we can clean it up. And I've also got some wire brushes as well. <clears throat> so I'm just gonna clean up some of the uh, rotten metal and dirt that sat on the surface with a brush. Give us a better idea of how much wire brushing we gotta do. I'm just gonna do it section by section. Right, let's uh See how that goes with the wire brush now. You can get it in there. There we go. Cap's come to join us. There's quite a lot coming off of here. And quite a bit of it I'm going to have to do by hand. And just to get into the grooves and the cracks. So as you'll see now, I've wire brushed along here up to the top link arm. It looks a bit better. The plate's showing a bit better. I've tried to avoid touching that as best as I can. Working in all the grooves and the cracks work our way into here now and I'm gonna run down this beam next work away along the back of it as well so yeah it's coming along nicely
Now we use the uh, one of the handheld wire brushes just to uh, finish it off a bit. Make sure the surface rust is taken off. Easiest way of getting in them grooves, I guess. Just to chop the wire brush in there as best as I can. Then I'll use the uh, hand one in a second to clear it. Only problem is, by the looks of it, it's bare metal under there. So, uh, means I need to get it in a building after I've done this so it doesn't get wet if I don't get around to painting it in time. Last thing we want is uh, water to hit bare metal. Right, so we've uh, wire brushed down as much as we can with the drill attachment. So what we're uncovering is, uh, I thought it was bare metal, but I realised it's actually grey paint from the original colour of the Fergie Ridger. So you see we're getting on a lot better. What I've got to do now is get these mole boards done. Um, and obviously you're gonna hand wire brush a bit more and tidy up in here. So right, so now it's time to use a sander on it. So I'm all set up over here. We've put it on the three point linkage of the tractor. And now what I'm gonna do, is show you guys how we get on. There you go, there's the uh, better finish. Now I'll do this side as well. You can see the difference between the two already and I've only given that a light one. There's the outside of it compared to this side that still needs doing. that part done I might have to do round here by hand do this by hand now work our way round onto this side
that's the uh, first one done. Oh, safety first, the goggles. Oh, right, looks a lot better. Now I'll get my way into the middle one somehow, which isn't going to be too easy, but this has got to be the best way of doing it. And then on to the third one, and uh, then I'll finish off with a leveling bar, and we'll go in by hand, and then we should be there. So I started painting it, it's not complete yet, I will get a video of that, looks a lot better, I'll uh, tidy that up, finish off the painting and get some grease on there as well. Right guys, so the uh, finished article, now you're going to have to excuse the uh, white grease on the moulds. it doesn't look like this, it depends on the time of the day, so uh, it's been sat here a little while now. It's been up for sale, it's up for 250 quid. So if you're local to us in Pembrokeshire and you want a Ferguson potato ridger, this is the one for you. All cleaned up nicely. Original Ferguson maker's plate there, which I've managed to avoid painting over. As you can see, she's just sitting here now because she's getting a bit of dirt on her. Um, mold boards are greased up. They've got, they go a bit funny in the uh, different weather that we've got here. Sometimes when it's hot, it's back to a normal colour when it's wet and cold, they go a bit white. But if you can look at that finish there guys, that is uh, really nice. Painted up really well. Very clean ridge there. Um, Alright, so yeah, so right guys, thanks for watching this video. What I am going to do is just quickly show you a little update of what Dad's doing. Because we've had another delivery. I'll show you that first, and then we will end. So we've had this uh, trailer delivered. It obviously didn't look like this when it turned up. We've uh, took the sides off, started taking bits off it here and there. Um, I mean, the chassis is good. The chassis is really good. How big do you reckon this is? Uh, ten foot by six foot. And what about the weight? Five and a half ton. It's a five and a half ton trailer. It's a good little trailer. We took off. Uh, yeah. So these are the sides, they've tape been taken off and he somehow cut off the uh, top part here. Is that what you were just doing with the disc cut, top the, cutting the top off there? Yeah, cut the whole body off it and start again. Start afresh. Right, so, um, new to the channel and you want to see this being done, please hit the subscribe button, ring the little bell as well for notifications of new videos coming up. Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed the Ridger and take care.